Good morning. I'm going to do my persuasive speech on walking. I'm going to try to persuade you by the end of this speech how walking is good for your health. We all leave, we all lend a health, uh, easy life. Let's be honest. Automatic dishwashers, riding lawnmowers, television remote controls, automatic garage door openers, etc. We live in a time-saving, convenient society. It's a great life, or is it? When today's luxury have been welcomed by the masses, they were also accused of turning us into passive, lethargic couch potatoes. I know how easy it can be to slip into an inactive lifestyle. I once was a couch potato myself. I know how sluggish and empathetic <clears throat> such a lifestyle can make you feel. Today, I want to encourage you to get up off that couch and get your body moving. I would like to persuade you to begin walking. Walking is also known as ambulation. It is one of the main gates of locomotions among the legged animals, and it's typical slower than running and other gates. Walking is defined by an inverted gait in which the body vaults over the stiff limbs or limb with each step. This applies regarding of the number of limbs. Regular brisk exercise of any kind can improve confidence. Um, and give you energy, weight control, and life expectancies, and reduce stress. It also can reduce the risk of coronary heart disease, strokes, diabetes, high blood pressure, um, bowel cancer, and osteoporosis. Scientific studies have also shown the walking, that walking besides its physical benefits, it is also benefit for the mind, improving your memory skills, um, learning ability, um, concentration, and obstruct reason as well. And also give you good spirits. Sustain walking sessions for a minimum period of 30 to 60 minutes a day, five days a week. With the correct walking and posture, reduce health risks and have various overall health benefits, such as reducing chances of um, cancer, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, anxiety, disorder, and depression. Life expectancies is also increased for individuals suffering from obesity or high blood pressure. Walking also improves bone marrow, um, especially and helps strengthen the hip and the um, lower extremities. The harmful low density, um, and it also helps with cholesterol. Studies have found that walking may have helped prevent dementia and Alzheimer's. The, city of, the Center of Disease Control and Prevention fact sheet on the relation of walking um, to morality among the U.S. adults with diabetes states that those with diabetes who walk two or more hours a week lower their morality rate from all causes by 39%. Walking lengthens the life, the life of people with diabetes regardless of age, sex, race, body masses, um, index, and present of complications of functional limitation. It has been suggested that there is a relationship between the speed of walking um, and your health and that the best, results of, the best results are obtained with the speed of more than 2.5 miles per hour. Government um, how now recognize that the benefits of walking for mental and physical health and, and our activities encourage. In closing, I urge you to begin to walk or do a simple, easy activity. Park at the back of the parking lot instead of parking close to the parking lot, cl parking close to the store and walk. Walk, don't drive to your local convenience store. Walk past the bus and stop let and start letting your two feet carry you across campus. Take 20 minutes and enjoy a walk around your neighborhood. Hide the television remote control, move off that couch and walk for your health's sake.